Hi guys. <laughs> I just wanted to um, let everyone see my decorations up here. Someone wanted to see my little pilgrims. <laughs> so there they are. So let me scooch back down. All right. I hope everyone's doing well. Um, I myself um, wasn't going to do this video today, guys, because I am under the weather. I'm not feeling well at all. And um, I just am ready to just put my pajamas on and go to bed. Um, but I didn't want to leave you guys hanging because I know you were waiting to see the haul video from Savers. Um, so I decided to try and do this video for you guys really quick. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> okay. So without further ado, don't get very excited because I did not get very much. Yep. Savers is too pricey for me. And as I said, the only time I go there is if my daughter's heading out in that area, then I will go for the ride with her in the hopes that maybe it'll be a day when somebody new is working and they have no idea what they're doing as far as pricing. <laughs> and I'll get lucky. However, that was not the case this time when I went. So, let's get into this very small savers haul. Uh, the wall of bags, without a doubt, is my favorite, I have to say. I did pick up this bag of vintage Christmas ornaments. There are a few non-vintage ornaments in the bag, but I did grab them because there are quite a few Mercury glass of the smaller bulbs, and then these here, these red satin, they're getting redonated. But so that's why I grabbed this bag. So I don't know, three ninety nine. Also for three ninety nine, I picked up two sets of salt and pepper shakers. This set is made in Versailles, Bavaria, and these are absolutely gorgeous. Look at these salt and pepper shakers. They're hand painted with the little forget-me-not flowers. Absolutely gorgeous. They have the gold tops. Um, whoever owned them lost the corks, so they put tape over the the holes in the bottom. Uh, but uh, if, if you could see, I wish this darn phone would focus for you guys. But there it is, Versailles, Bavaria. And the coloring on these, like this, this phone camera is not picking up just how really beautiful these are. They have hues of peach, and the green and the yellow and the blue, and they're just beautiful. These will be for resale. Um, probably $15 for the pair. We'll see. I have to kind of do a little research, but I'm thinking around there. So, got those. The other set that I got for $3.99 are these, and these are made in Japan. Look at these. These are big salt and pepper shakers. I mean, like, here's my hand, and here's, you know, that's a good size salt and pepper shaker. Um, no cracks, no chips. Um, there is crazing because they are old, but I love the beautiful floral pattern on these. They're just beautiful. So 
This one has the cork. This one has the cork as well up inside of there. So I'm going to try to get it out with a pair of needle nose pliers. So wish me luck. But yeah, beautiful. Love them. Uh, for two, or no, excuse me, $1.99, I picked this Avon piece up. It had Skin So Soft oil, bath oil in it at one time. And I'm thinking it might have had a matching, like, bowl that it sat in. But I did not find it, so. But this is for myself. Reminds me of the, uh, the Corel, um, Blue Onion. Uh, what's what's the other name? Uh, blue, town and Country pattern. But yes. So I got that for myself. Um, this is a very cool item. This was not a bad price, I didn't think. I paid $2.99 for this. And um, I actually bought this for a friend. So it has the beautiful... Um, you know, blue and white, but actually the bottle is more of like a gray white. It's not a pure white. I don't know if you could tell, but, and then on the back is this like a 3D picture of a windmill on the seashore. And it has writing down here. Um, have no idea what it says because it's it's really not pronounced enough to read. But there is some kind of writing on the bottom. So, for $2.99, I didn't think it was bad. I think it probably had a stopper at one point, but it has uh, been long gone. So, then I grabbed this for $3.99, this very cute apple pitcher. I love this. I think it is so cute. Nothing on this side, but the sticker. And this is made, I've never heard of this company. This is made by Pippin USA. And there it is on the back, or the bottom. The bottom, I said the back. And no cracks, no chips, and no crazing. So I have to look this up because I'm really not sure. I've never heard of this company before. So I'm thinking I might be able to get about maybe 25 for this. Um, the last thing that I got was a set of Fenton Silver Crest candle holders. And I believe these are cut in the Spanish lace pattern. Um, they do say Fenton on the bottom. And I, it really makes me angry. $2.99 each. They should be sold as a pair. They should have priced these as a pair, not $3 each. That really burns my biscuits when people do that. So $6 for the pair. Hopefully, I'll be able to sell these for a decent price. Usually, Silvercrest is one of the um, better Fenton um, patterns. So I don't know, we shall see, because I already have a set of these, I think, of my own, but I'm not positive. If I can't sell them for a decent profit, then I'll just keep them. They are pretty though. I like the tops, they have the pretty, looks like a flower, very pretty. Uh, that, my friends, I believe, was all that I got at Savers. I spent, I want to say 27 
or $29, something like that. And then I got 20% off because my daughter donated a couple bags of clothes. So I think I spent like $23 and some change. So, um, yep, that's it, guys. So while we were out that way, I said to my daughter, let's stop at the Salvation Army. Um, that The Salvation Army that I'm speaking of is where I found that lady head vase that I did the eyelash repair on. And I usually can find at least one or two cool, one or two, yeah, okay, one or two cool items in that Salvation Army. So we did stop there and I did find one or two cool things in there. So starting with this, oh, and it was, um, green was one of the tags that was half price. I can't remember what the other two were, but I know green was. Um, I got this really cute. This is Anchor Hawking Moonstone, a little votive candle holder. I just love it. It was 49 cents. So I grabbed that. This I grabbed to decorate for 4th of July. Um, this was made in Japan. It was $1.99. And it's this very cool candle holder, which is full of wax. I have to clean it all off, but it's got our eagle on there and the red, white, and blue flag. Very cool. So I grabbed that. I found a flower frog. This one is plastic, and this is a big one. Like, that's big. I'm saying that's got to be about five, six inches around. So, yeah. I don't remember what I paid for it. The sticker came off. So I have no idea. I don't think it was much. I think they had maybe, maybe it was like 99 cents. I don't know, but yeah. Um, then I found... This is beautiful, the pattern on these plates. Now, uh, these I'm thinking are probably... Like uh, sorry about that, my daughter called. <laughs> so, anyways, as I was saying, these dishes are gorgeous. These are dessert plates. Uh, they were green tags, so I paid half price for them. So, I paid like 45 cents a plate. And these are Taylor Smith Taylor. Look at this pattern. Is that not gorgeous? Look how pretty. Beautiful. So I got five of these um, plates for 45 cents a piece. And I basically bought them as replacements for anybody that might have these dishes with this pattern and needs replacement um, dessert plates. So they're gorgeous. I do not know um, what the name of the pattern is. Um, unless these numbers on here, 5393, maybe that is the, the pattern name. I don't know, but <clears throat> I will have to do some further research on these plates. But they are really beautiful, and they're all in great condition. There's no chips, no cracks, and really uh, no paint loss. So that's a plus. And the only other thing that I got at, the, at that Salvation Army, um... I'm not sure if this was half price or not, because as I said, I can't remember what all the the colored tags were. Uh, I might have paid $2 for this. I'm not sure. But it's in the original box. Look at that. <laughs> it's so cool. But let me show you. It is this Pyrex Wear 
And this is a coffee carafe, or I guess a coffee pot. It's brand new. I don't think it was ever used. It's just uh, in need of some cleaning. And it's still, it, it still has the important heat spreader grid. So this was put on the burner and then the pot was put on here. So it wasn't directly on the coils of the burners. So it has everything that it came with. This is the bag. I'm assuming that the coil came in and it has all your um, instructions on here. So I'm thinking this is 50s, 60s. I was just looking to see. Pyrex is a registered trademark of Corning Glassworks. So, yes, very, a very, very cool item. I love it. So, this will also be listed for sale. I'm not quite sure what I'll be able to get for it. I'm going to have to look it up and do a little research. I'm... I'm guessing maybe, you know, like, uh, let's say between $25 and $30. So, and that was what I got at that Salvation Army. Just the three things. So, then I decided on Tuesday, for Senior Tuesday, to go to Goodwill. Um, I know you're not going to believe me, but I walked out of Goodwill with absolutely nothing. The shelves were bare. I even said to the one guy working, I'm like, are you guys going to put some more stuff out? Because these shelves are empty and he had no clue. So, you know, I'm like, okay, whatever. Um, yeah, I walked out with absolutely nothing. So I decided to take a run out to the Salvation Army. That's close by there. And um, I only got like one, two, three, four, five, six things. And four of them are clothing items. So let me show you what I got. This was half price. I paid a dollar and it is a cassette holder. Um... I already bought two a while back for all of my cassettes and I still, the two weren't enough. So when I got this for a dollar, heck yeah, I said now I can fit the rest of my cassettes in there. So that was an awesome price. One dollar, yes. Then I grabbed this bag of beautiful uh, ribbon it was $1.49, and there are, let's see, two rolls. Let me take, I'll take it out and show you. Two rolls of this beautiful one with, like, the roses and stuff on there. Very pretty. And it's wired. So there's two rolls of this. And then there are three rolls of this one. And this is also wired. Very pretty. It would be nice for, you know, it could be used for Christmas. So I grabbed them. I mean, really, you can't beat, you know, uh, five rolls of ribbon for $1.49. That's like an amazing price. So that'll go in my crafting stash. And then I just bought four shirts. Um, I don't remember what I spent at the Salvation Army. But anyways, I can't remember what color the tags were. And you know what? Today has, hey, what are you doing? Today has just not been a good day. So um, I'm pretty sure that it was green and blue and maybe pink were half price. So I got this really cute shirt. This is Cable and Gage. 
Uh, so I got this for $2. Just a plain white shirt and it has the really cool like bell sleeves. Very cute. Not bad for two bucks. This was also uh, $2. I got this one. This is a Style & Co. And I got this to go with jeans or my blue pants. I have a couple pairs of blue pants. And if it's long enough, I'll wear it with my navy blue um, leggings that I have. And then I got, this is a Sonoma, and it's a nice long, a longer top. I do have a pair of gray leggings. Now, usually I buy my shirts, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm sorry, guys, I have to have a drink because my throat's burning. I'm not feeling good, as I said. So normally I buy large in shirts for myself because I don't like them very tight fitting. Now this one is a medium, but it's more of a tunic. So I'm hoping that it's not going to be too tight. And then I got this, Just this is just a casual, it was a $2 and this is uh, Sonoma as well. This is just to go with... Um, I have some black uh, jeans, some black corduroys. So I wanted a, you know, a long sleeve. So I got that. And that was all I got at the Salvation Army, guys. So what did I spend? Two, three, four, six. I didn't even spend $10. I remember it was $9 and some change. That's it. So, heck yeah. Four shirts, a cassette uh, holder, and five rolls of ribbon for less than $10. That is phenomenal. So, there you go. Went to Savers. Hardly got anything. Went to Goodwill, got nothing. Went to a Salvation Army, got a couple things at each one. Eh, you know, I've, I've had better days, but what are you going to do? It happens. So I thought that I would try to open these two packages of friend mail. I'm sorry, guys. Let me get these bangs out of my face. They're driving me naughty. Whatever. <laughs> I don't want to be looking like alfalfa, but you know. <coughs> oh, guys, guys, guys. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Look, at I even got a twitch in my eye. Okay, so I have these two packages of friend mail. I've had them for a little while, and I really would just like to open them and see what's inside because I'm very excited. This one is from my friend Maria. So let me see if I can get into this. I don't want to cut anything that's inside. here there we go oh oh my goodness <laughs> look at this Winnie the Pooh book oh my gosh this is fantastic I just want to see what the um, copyright is 
she had, I, I, um, I'm pretty sure she had gotten this, you know, uh, hopefully it's for me because I love Winnie the Pooh. Oh my gosh, look at that. I'm keeping this for myself. Oh, wait, there's a card. I forgot the card. Hang on, guys. I was at a new thrift store called Thrift City. I found two things that reminded me of you. Sorry I bought a book for your daughter. Couldn't resist. Best regards, Maria. Well, I may or may not give it to her. <laughs> Just being honest. <laughs> so, <laughs> thank you, Maria. <laughs> All right. So let's see what we have here. Got my scissors. I really hate to waste bubble wrap because it's not cheap. So I try to save it as much as I can. What is this little guy? Oh my goodness. Look at this. Look at this little cutie. <laughs> How beautiful. Oh my goodness. He is gorgeous. I love it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right. Maria, did you send me some chicken wings? Because even though I just ate, I would eat some more. All right. Let me see here. Cut the tape. See what's going on. We have tape here. All right. to say <laughs> Maria is very creative when it comes to packaging recycle reuse absolutely <laughs> I love it love it all right what do we have here Maria is the queen of tape. If you guys don't remember, she really is. All right. Holy moly. Hey, did you guys ever do this? Hey. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I couldn't resist. <laughs> oh dear, I need my head examined. <laughs> I just couldn't resist. <laughs> Holy, Holy crappers. Oh, look at this, you guys. Oh, my goodness. I love it. It's terracotta. I already know what I'm going to do with this. This is having a succulent inserted right in there. That is going to look fantastic. I love this. Oh, my God, Maria. Thank you so much. You know what? It's like I've gotten so many awesome things and I'm aggravated because I can't put them out yet because I have to decorate for the holidays. So now I got to pack all these awesome things away until January. I just want to put them out. 
I love them. Maria, thank you so much. <laughs> I love you. I really do. <laughs> this is great. All right. So that was from my friend Maria. Next, I have a package here. And I'm going to set this over here because I don't want to knock it down. Um, this was an airmail package. So, I believe this came from Paula, I think, from Canada. Look how cool this is. I love this, um... Stamp. Let me cut it off and show you guys. <laughs> There's the queen. Is it from Canada? I'm not sure. Royal Mail. Great Britain. Wow. All right. Yeah, this has been sitting here and I've been like dying to get into it. All right. Let's see what we have in here. Set this here. Got an itchy nose. having all kinds of issues here, guys. I do apologize. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Oh, she, she sent some things for Frog Larry. Oh my goodness. All right. So first of all, there is a card in here. Whoops. I didn't mean to do that. I ripped the darn envelope. All right. Let me see. Oh, what a gorgeous card. Look at that, you guys. How beautiful. Okay, so she says, to the thrill of the thrift, or may I call you D? You absolutely can. Just a small gift for Frog Larry. I thought I had more left, but these were the only ones left. I thought nice enough to send. I have also enclosed a small gift for you. I was sorting what I thought were Christmas decorations when I found they were roosters and I thought of you. Best wishes and thank you for hours of fun and enjoyment. Paula. Ah, uh, Paula, you're awesome. And I'm thanking you on Frog Larry's behalf. I'm sure that he'll thank you somewhere in the comments in this video. How awesome. Okay, Larry, are you ready? <laughs> she even wrote a little thing that says to Frog Larry. Hang on, let me show you. There's, see, for Frog Larry. <laughs> All right, what do we got here? Um, Let's see, which way should I open this? Oh, here we go, duh. I should have brought my little um, razor thing. All right. Are you ready, Larry? Oh. <gasps> How cute is that? Oh, my goodness. Made in England. I'm a happy eater. Oh, I'm a happy eater. That is adorable. Oh, my goodness. All right. So, 
what I will do is I will rewrap these and I will mail these to Larry along with the things that I have that I have to mail for him from myself that I have not mailed yet. So I shall get this to you, Larry. And there's another one for you. So hold on. This one is also for Frog Larry. You're so cute, Paula. <laughs> Hang on. Hang on. Oh my goodness. How cute are these? First of all, I can show you like this, <laughs> but let me take them out and see. <laughs> all right. Oh my goodness. Look at that, Larry. <laughs> How cute. Oh my goodness. This is a little pin, Larry. You could wear this on your lapel. How cute. Oh my goodness. Wait, we got more. We have another pin. <laughs> another pin. Oh, you're going to be all good to go. You're going to be fashioning, Larry. You could put these on your tie. You could put it on your collar. Whatever. Look at this little guy. How cute are those? Oh my goodness. There you go, Lair. You'll get them. You'll get them. I'm going to mail them with the stuff that I got for you. All in one box. Very shortly. Very shortly. All right. And then this is for moi. Let me put these little cuties back in this bag because I don't want to lose any of them. <laughs> Wrap them up like this. I'm going to stick them in here with the mug for now. All right, let me put this over here. All right, this is the last item, guys. Goodness, Paula, these are awesome. Look at these, you guys. Oh my God, I love cross stitch, needlepoint, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this is, I think this is, I don't know, is this cross stitch? You guys tell me, what's the difference between cross stitch and needlepoint? Because I think my grandma used to do needlepoint. Look at those, those are awesome. Paula, thank you so, so much. I love these. These will definitely be in my kitchen. As I said, I got to put another shelf. But perhaps I can hang these on my wall in here. Like I said, though, I got to wait till after the holidays. Oh, my God. I have, like, the best subscribers ever. Friends friends. It's just amazing. I, I, I love you guys. Thank you so much for, for thinking of me. I mean, I, I absolutely, you know, I say it every time, but it just means the world to me. It really, really does. And I just enjoy doing this. It's something that's so much fun for me. I look forward to it. And I'm just, I'm just glad that, that you guys like my channel, that you guys enjoy um, the things that I find and the things that I share with you. 
and you like my goofy personality, you know, such as it is. And I am just so appreciative of all of you. So thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. On that note, I'm going to end this very long video as usual and just say God bless you all. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. I have no idea what I have coming up next. Um, there were no good ads uh, for, you know, sales this weekend, really. Uh, so I'm probably, if I'm feeling up to it, I don't know. I may go and help out at Holy Trinity again. If not, I'm thinking I just might keep my butt in bed this weekend and just take it easy because I have to work the following weekend at my uh, job. So I don't know. But I'm sure I'll have something in the works. So just stay tuned, everyone. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Catch you in my next one. Love you guys.